Robert Englund, The Paper Brigade. Next on HBO. One rainy day. Just want to know if you're wearing panties. My mom hates your dad. If I ever act interested in another man again, would you please shoot me? My dad hates your mom. One frustrating day. I got kids here! One frantic day. You're just going to have to be tough and wait. LSD. LSD? I met someone today. Oh my gosh. She's luminous. I just lost his daughter. Michelle Pfeiffer, George Clooney. One fine day. Coming in November on HBO. Tom is a con man who's been a good Samaritan. Thank you. Burn victim. Help him, Papa. And a charity case. I swear I'll send you a check. You, sir, have one week to find a job. This is your new home. All these letters are hopeless, lost, unreturnable. But when Tom plays God... Dear God. God is looking out for us. He delivers his best performance ever. Postal workers could use a better image. Greg Kinnear, Dear God. Premier Saturday, November 22nd on HBO. Sick, sadistic puppy. <laughs> it's not TV. It's HBO. is rated PG. Ready to migrate to Pleasant Valley. Did 
you know that combined, all ants in the world together weigh just about as much as all human beings? Oh, I find that fascinating. We have got to meet the moving van. Where's Gunther? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I was just trying to keep my mind on something else. Life as I know it is about to end. Did you remember to lock the back doors of the U-Haul, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. We're off. Gunther. Andrew. What? Son? Dad, you know how my back is. You got it? Yeah. Close it down. Oh, Isn't anybody gonna get that? I'll get it. How do I'm Charlie Parker? I live next door. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. What's this? Jello. I, I mean, just a little welcome to the neighborhood gift for you and your family from the Parkers. Thanks. Well, we have lots of unpacking to do. I'll introduce you to the rest of the guys later. Bye. I live next door to Beaver Cleaver. Gunther, pay attention. This is not a toy. I'm listening, Dad. The pool is your My responsibility. You must remember to check the chemicals for low chlorine. Then once a week, scrape the algae off. But most importantly, you sweep the leaves out. If they get into the filter, the pressure will build up. And... Oh, and you have to flush the filter out and add new diatomaceous earth. Gunther, have you heard anything that I've said? Every word, Dad. We've been over this already. You need me for anything else? Well, I I'm serious, son. You have got to stay on top of this. Check the chlorine, 
scrape the algae, sweep the leaves, and if necessary, add diatomaceous earth. Can I go now? Well, where are you off to in such a hurry? You wanted me to interact? I'm gonna go mingle with some natives. Check out the new mall. Andrew, you wanna come? Yeah, sure. Do I have time to put my things away? Sure. Gunther, that was really nice of you. Hey, what are big brothers for? Besides, he still has his allowance. I'm broke. What's your name? Allison Robbins. Allison. I'm Gunther Wheeler. We just moved in. Into the Johnson house. You're from New York, right? Wow. This town is pretty small. Smaller than you think. Uh, you probably ought to go. Why? Who's this? This is Gunther. <laughs> 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 it says that on your birth certificate? What kind of a name is that? Oh, well, I think I just stepped in some Gunther. Oh, wow. Well, I don't match. I just gunther oh, Wiley, did you gun in your pants oh. again? Hey, shut up. Grow up, you guys. This is Gunther Wheeler. He just moved into the Johnson house. Gunther, this is Chad, Luke, and Wiley. Fry? Don't mind if we do. Sure. Oh, yes. Help yourself. Now, Gunther, you weren't trying to hit on my girlfriend, were you? I'm not your girlfriend, Chad. Hey, Gunther! Hey, look, fellas, it's a nerd herd. Look who was peeing next to me. Hi, Gunther. This is Henry. Did I give you permission to speak? Well, no, but I thought that I, um... Hey, shut up. It's book. I gotta go Gunther. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the front. I gotta get back to work. Oh, man. I could really get used to living here. I'd advise you to stay away from her, Gunther. She could be hazardous to your health. Oh, yeah, and what are you, the Surgeon General? No, but... Chad thinks he has dibs on her, and I would not mess with him if I were you. Well, you're not me, okay? And Chad is not the one that I want to mess with. Hang with us. We know plenty of other babes. Oh, yeah. I can just imagine the herd of babes you guys hang with. Gunther, we know where every beautiful girl in this town lives. Right, Henry? Doesn't he talk? He's shy. But once he gets started, you can't shut him up. Right, Henry? Come on, I'll introduce the rest of the guys. Come on. Come on, just two more pieces. That's it, man, no more. Come on, fish, the more gum, the bigger the bubble. You can do it, fish. What is he doing? Shh, you'll break his concentration. Fish is determined to break a world record. Okay, now remember your training. Okay, fish, now you ready? Now remember, nice and slow. Nice and slow. There you go. Keep going. Four inches. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fish, go! You can do it! Ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14. Fourteen inches. That's gotta be a record. I'm afraid not. Greatest reported diameter of a bubblegum bubble under the very strict rules of this highly competitive activity was twenty-three inches, set in nineteen ninety-one. How does he know all that? Are you kidding? Fish memorized the book. Guys, I want you to meet the new neighbors, Gunther and Andrew. Yeah. Hey. So what's with all this newspaper junk? We're paper boys. Speaking of that. I still don't have anyone to sub for me while I'm gone for the summer. Well, I've got a brilliant idea. Gunther, why don't you take the route? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Racing down the street, wind in your face, delivering the day's headlines. There's no better feeling in the world. Right, Henry? <clears throat> no, thank you. He's warming up. He shoots. And misses. Ha <laughs> ha, he scores. Reload. Hey, Gunther. Gunther. Gunther, it's me, Charlie. Inside the walkie-talkie under your pillow. What is this? Isn't it great? I'd Andrew put it under your pillow. Come out on your deck. Down here. Down here in the window. I'm sorry, but I don't do walkies. Wait a minute, don't! I, I just want I have five more to go then. Okay, it's your stomach. Who do you got in there? Screaming Banshees, Shrieking. Hey, they rock. Shrieking's their best CD yet. Definitely. Definitely. All right. This pool is a disaster. Yeah, they can swim in it, but they can't take care of it. Where is Gunther? He's probably at the mall. It's where he spends most of his time. Since when does Gunther hang out at the mall? Since he found out Allison worked there. Dude, don't do this to me. I gotta see him. Hey, supply and demand. If you want to see the Screaming Banshees, you gotta pay the piper. Hey, hey, hey. Did you say Screaming Banshees? Yeah, they're coming through town. Hey, dude. I'm sorry, excuse me. Excuse sorry. I'll, I'll meet you. Excuse I'll... me, young man. Screaming Banshees are coming to this town. Yeah? I thought the only thing that came through here was UPS. You, uh, wouldn't be interested in some tickets. I'll take them. How much? 150 for the pair. 150 bucks? You guys are crazy. I don't have that kind of cash. Then I guess you ain't going. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. Hey, Dad. 
Hey. You got a minute? Sure, what's on your mind, son? <clears throat> I was just gonna tell you that you and Mom were right. This place really isn't so bad. Well, I'm glad you're starting to adjust. Yeah. Uh, you won't hear me complain about the move anymore. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Gunther. And, um, I'm really gonna try harder to get my chores done, too. Well, you have been neglecting the pool. From now on, I'm gonna be 100% on top of it. I mean, I'll go out there with a toothbrush and scrub the algae off the sides if I have to. What is it you want, Gunther? I was hoping that you would find it in your heart to uh, give me an advance on my allowance. And how much money are we talking about? Give or take uh, about 150 bucks. The reason I push you so hard isn't because I want to make your life miserable. I just want you to develop a, a sense of responsibility. You don't know how much that means to me. You not giving up on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been down this road before, haven't we, Gunther? And out in the real world, you wouldn't get a dime. But you are my son, and I do love you. I love you too, Dad. I'm probably sending a mixed message, but I'm going to roll with you on this. I'll give you the money. Dad, you're the greatest! <laughs> Would that be cash or check? Okay, I'll take that as a no. No credit! No payment plans. I want my money. Oh, $175 of it. I only owe you 150 That wasn't counting interest. Oh, I never agreed to that. Oh. Okay, okay. <sighs> Just give me my money. All I need is an extension, okay? A little time to get my finances in order, and you'll get your money, I promise. I'm going to give you a break because you're new in town and because I'm feeling charitable today. Just remember, extensions don't last forever. You will pay up. And, and let's just say, hypothetically speaking, of course, I don't. Well, then I got two words for you. Dental records. Hey, buddy. What's up? Forget it. Not another dime. I'm about to sink to an all-time low. Charlie, it's Gunther. Can you hear me? Charlie, it's Gunther. Do you read? Hey, Gunther, you're using the walkie. Now listen, do you remember when you asked me if I would take over Leonard's paper out? Yeah. Yeah, well, is it still available? Sure is. I'll take it. You will. All summer? Yeah. Wow, that's great! You got a bike? 
No. Not a problem. You can use Leonard's. I'll have them leave it in your driveway. Meet me at Fish's house 5.30 tomorrow morning. I'll show you the ropes. Over and out, neighbor. Get up! Allison, oh Allison, give me a kiss. I still love this stuff, baby. <laughs> Gunther, ready? The only thing I'm ready for is another four hours of sleep. Did you know there are people with this extremely rare condition known as chronic cholecystitis that can go without sleep for up to five years? Thank you for that useless piece of trivia. No problem whatsoever. Here's your saddlebag, Gunther. Hook it to your handlebars like this, and then you load up. Gus, you're late again. Sorry. Gus, we offer a vital service to this community. The paper is their main source of news and other information. F from the weather to today's headlines, even the astrological forecast, it's up to us to deliver. And on time. My dad won't even go to the crap in the morning if he doesn't have a sports section. He calls it his quiet time. We help it transport this town onto the on-ramp of the information superhighway. You need to take this job more seriously. Sorry. Oh, Gunther, the map for your route. The address with the X's show what house you're looking to. Oh, yeah, um, oh, here. Leonard wanted me to give you this note, some valuable tips to help. You really want to help deliver my papers? <laughs> Let's ride, boys. <laughs> How 
How hard can it be to toss a few papers? Yap, yap, yap. I've seen sewer rats bigger than you back home. Not having a good time. Ugh. Hi. Can you tell me where Mapleson Street is? What? Can you tell me where Mapleson Street is? Oh, Mapleson Street? <laughs> Why did you say so? Speak clear English next time, okay? Let's see. Mapleson, Mapleson, Mapleson. Mapleson Street. Good. You won. Very close. Mapleson Street, next street over. Right, right behind this house, right there. Just uh, right past this yard, okay? Oh, but you can't go through here. You have to go all the way around the block. Yeah, I tell you how to get there. Uh, go back this way. Make a right, 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 right. That's wrong. That's four rights. You'd be back where you start from. No, uh, just just go back around the block, and when you stop, uh, that's Mapleson Street, okay? Over there. Got? Okay, why can't I just cut through here? No. Oh, you're not from around here, huh? 
No, no, no. See that house? That's a crazy man Cooper house. He's crazy. He don't. How do you say? He uh, he step on one too many landmines. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not good. He don't let anybody go to his yard. So you must go back around this way or, or go this way. Uh, this way faster, I think. If you run faster, okay? Good. Okay. Look, I don't think I'm gonna hurt anything. Why don't I just walk through? Okay. You don't wanna listen to me. I'm just a milkman. Uh, it's your funeral. You do what you want. I got to go deliver milk. Here I go to the. Of a, a morning person. Well, where's Leonard? Uh, he's gone for the summer. I'll be your paper boy. But you just said. No, no, that. Then I'm sorry. That the paper was late. And please extend my deepest apologies to your folks. Thank you.
geese, Gunther. He don't look so good. Wasn't Leonard's note helpful? You forgot this one. There's still some in the... <laughs> What's this? I don't know. What is it? It's a ticket to the Screaming Batches concert. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's weird. I, I have one just like it. How did you get tickets? Why? Are they hard to get? Uh, they're practically impossible. Uh, I... Wow. So, um... It's September 12th. Yeah. You want to go? You mean, on a date? Only if you want to call it that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Allison, phone call. Oh. I gotta go. Bye. Poor thing's crazy about me. Papers on the front porch, these deadbeats don't bother looking. This is not coming out of my paycheck. Now that's cute. Hello? Leonard, is that you? No, my name is Gunther. I'm filling in for him. Oh, well, please, come in. I've just baked some delicious cookies. No, thanks. I gotta get back to my route. Here are your papers. Well, Mr. Hansen said you can't do a good day's work on an empty stomach. Now, come in here and don't be so stubborn. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball! Oh! The ball game is on at this time. Oh. I tape all the games. <laughs> oh, but the players today, they're too busy counting their money and doing underwear commercials. You like baseball? Sure. Oh, oh. <laughs> they, my father used to take us to Ebbets Field, and I fell in love with the game. And when we moved here, oh, we went to all the double A games, and that's where I met Mr. Hansen. I was just your age. Well, here's your papers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gunther. I'm lost without my papers in the morning, especially since I can't get the daily lineups. Well, didn't you know they were out there? Well, my bones aren't as strong as they used to be. <laughs> Leonard is nice enough to drop them through the slot. Well, from now on, I'll bring them right to the door. Oh, that's sweet of you. You got my money? Funny you should mention that. I was just coming to see you guys. Come on, Jack, go a little faster. Let's get this punk a little scared. Come on, guys, and give me a break here. Thank <laughs> you. 
tell you. Guys, did you to get some sleep around here? Is that wake him up? <laughs> Get on my bike and ride away. And you can pretend you never saw me. Paperboy. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is he doing? Fish is attempting to break the world pogo stick jumping record. According to his average jumps per minute, he only has to stay on for another... Four hours and 33 minutes. Somebody refuel me. I need some water here. Okay, that's good. You can stop now. Stop! Oh, 
Well, here's my route money. Who do I give it to? Me. I pay you out of what you collect, then bring the rest to the main office. You keep your tips. <laughs> tips? <laughs> I didn't get any tips. I didn't want to say anything, Gunther, but I've been getting some complaints. Papers late or torn. Wait a second. Are you telling me that people like Henry and Mr. Hippity Hop over here are making more money than I am? Two, three times that amount. What? Guys, I'm losing momentum here. Quick, someone energize him. Wheeler. Gunther Wheeler. What is it? Let's get back.
the boy right on schedule. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> now that is why man will always prevail over beast. Seventh Cavalry. Prepare to meet your maker, Johnny Rapp. ever shot me before. Congratulations. Permission to pass. Cool. That Julius Caesar, he was, he was quite a general, huh, son? <laughs> yeah, showed some initiative here. Uh, I say soldier. Uh, but uh, what regiment you with? Huh? Paper Brigade. Well, don't, don't be a stranger now. See ya. You can talk him on back. Good morning, 
Mr. Lippman. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, a little behind in our payments, aren't we? There you go. Great, Gus. You're only 45,976 short of the record. Then I guess I got something to shoot for. In your dreams. Or did it. Hey, what are you guys doing here? You mean you didn't hear? Hear what? We're the new paper boys. What exactly are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is that you pencil neck pocket protector wearing dorks are out and we're in. Just think of us as your full time subs. Every morning, here's where the papers are dropped off and here's where we're going to pick them up. And if you go run into the paper about this, you'll make headline news in the obituaries. What do you know? Here comes our inspiration. What's going on? They're taking over our routes. <laughs> They're what? <laughs> That's right, Squid Lips. It's all because of you. Ever since you showed us what a lucrative business the paper industry could be, we decided to give it a whirl. I'll take that bag now. Don't give it to him, Gunther. Yeah, don't give it to him. Look, either you cooperate or we start cracking skulls. What are you doing? It's just the paper out, guys. I mean, not worth getting beat up over, right? That's right. <laughs> oh! What was that for? Just a warning. You guys can't deliver these papers. You don't even know which houses get them. Well, we do now. Hey, leave that alone. Back off. Just like that. What did you expect? The guy was going to do a tap dance on my face. <laughs> Crack some skull. It's like taking candy from a baby. Bye, boys. <laughs> Man, you guys, it's just a paper route, OK? Not the end of the world. now until the concert. Guess what? I'm working on backstage passes. And I'll spring it for a limo. Did you know we got a new paper boy? Yeah. So what? How could you do it, Gunther? Charlie and his friends looked up to you, and you let him down. 
Well, excuse me for having an addiction to breathing. Oh, so that's it. You're afraid of Chad? Why should you be any different? I just thought that you were someone who was willing to stand up to him. I'm not scared of him, okay? I have to get back to work. I'm not. Allison! <laughs> if I never hear the words paper out again, it'll be too soon. your skate. Great. Thanks for asking. Good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Dad, before you say anything, I'm sure whatever happened, Andrew is the one who's responsible. Responsible for what? For whatever broke. <laughs> Nothing broke, Gunther. I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. I, I must have wax build up. It sounded like you said you were proud of me. I did. And I am. Wow, that's a first. You know, when you started that paper out, I didn't think you'd last the first day. I mean, let's face it, Gunther, you and work are kind of like oil and vinegar. You don't exactly mix. And delivering the paper five days a week, that's a big responsibility. Uh, Dad, it's really not that big a deal. <laughs> yes, it is. And you should be very proud of yourself. You're working hard, you're earning an honest pay, for the first time in your life, you're actually going to finish something that you started. Dad, come on. You're going to get me all teary-eyed. Well, to prove to you how proud I am, I'm going to increase your allowance starting today. You are? You've earned it. No, Dad, I really don't think that's necessary. Yes, it is. OK. Well, and by the way, Mrs. Hansen called to see how you're doing. Mrs. Hansen called you? She was just full of compliments, and she made sure to tell me how lucky I am to have a son like you. So, keep up the good work, son. Mrs. Hansen? Mrs. Hansen, it's, it's Gunther. I have your papers. Oh, Gunther! Is everything all right? You haven't been by. Were you sick? No. You have a new paper boy now. Oh. I'm sorry if you haven't been getting your papers. But come in! I'm just pulling some cookies out of the oven. I should get going. I won't take no for an answer. I can't believe it. Wow, this is the very first issue of the Gazette. How did you get this? It's the very first page of the very first edition. I was married to its founder. Mr. Hansen started the Gazette? Well, the first paper rolled off the presses. 32 years ago. You should have seen his face that day. He was so proud. <sighs> All he ever wanted was to have a paper of his own. It meant more to him than baseball did. <sighs> Our anniversary is coming up the 12th of September. And every year, I go to the stadium and I sit in the same seat I did the day I met Emerson. I'm afraid I'm going to miss that this year. Why? Well, these fossils I've got as bones just aren't strong enough any longer to make that trip alone. Hmm. 
Thanks for the cookie. Uh, Gunther, if it isn't too much trouble, could you ask the new paper boy to drop it through the slot? Hmm? Tell him I'll have a cookie for him. Sure. No problem. Bye-bye. What do you say we go get our routes back? Yeah! Yeah! Whoa, 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 hold it. How are we gonna do that? I, I've got a plan. Start pumping. I just put two bucks in this thing. Guess we don't deliver today. If we don't deliver, we don't get paid. Chad, how are we gonna deliver papers without a car? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not getting, no. No way. This is so humiliating. Look, I, I swear, if anybody sees me... Let's just get this over with. Wiley, um, you take Oak, New Haven, and Pine. Luke, you handle Sunnycrest and Lilybrook. I'll take the rest. We'll meet up at Mapleson. Great. This... <laughs> Base camp, this is Watchdog. Do you read me? Go ahead, Watchdog. Operation Humiliate and Destroy is underway. Be ready on all posts. All right, here he comes. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. Showtime. Toast. Yeah. Oh. 
You guys are dead! Jesus, wait. Uh. Come on, you bozo! Come on, you can't run faster than that! Bombs away! Well, my brave soldiers. Yes. Take that, you loser. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> ah, stop it! Chew on this! Oh. I'll be back for you guys later. <laughs> yeah, nice fight. <laughs> Base camp, this is Chef Boyardee. Route robber number one has been bombed, basted, and bit. Over and out. Hey, shut up, mighty mouth. <laughs> by some poodle. It wasn't a poodle, it was a big dog. Yeah, whatever. Were you there? <laughs> what happened to you guys? We were ambushed. By who? As soon as I get my hands on those little wimps, I'm gonna make them hurt so bad their whole family's gonna bleed. The nerd herd? Are you sure it was them? Hey, Chad! Get up! I'm not going down there. Pick up the bikes, let's go! Get him! Come away. Go, hurry up! Oh, let's go! 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 Idiot, why'd you stop? I'm not going in there. Why? It's crazy old man Cooper's property, He's certifiable. C come on. toys. And over the saddlebags. Over my dead body. I'm really sorry you feel that way. <whistles> Brigade ready! And
guys are dead meat! Get him then! Tomorrow's a big night. Yep. Was it worth it? So? I really appreciate you taking me to the concert. I guess what Gunther had to do was really important. Um, um, well, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Where did he go, Andrew? Well, uh... I, I promised him I wouldn't tell.
Andrew. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever told you that you have incredibly sexy eyes? gentlemen left in this world. Oh. Hi. 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 How did you 